Hey, what's up, funkheads? Got a fairly large order from Hot Topic right here. They're one of the websites I order from the most because they tend to do a pretty good job with their shipment packaging, and I very rarely get a damaged pop from them. And if I do, it's pretty easy to just go to the store and return it. So if you're curious about ordering from Hot Topic, this is what it looks like. All right, first up, it's Sorrow Man from the new Lord of the Rings wave. And he came in great condition, even though he was packed on the side there without too much protection. If the box would have taken a hit, this would have got damaged for sure. But it was sort of in the middle, and usually the boxes take hits on the sides, or on the shorter sides. So, not bad. And yeah, he looks pretty good. Looks like the ball is made out of some kind of semi-translucent material. Looks really nice. And I also got a rock candy from one of my favorite movies of all time, and it's one of my favorite heroines of all time, Ellen Ripley. And they really did a good job on that likeness on her face. Really does look like Sigourney Weaver. And yeah, this box is in great condition, some nice artwork here on the side. I really like the rock candy packaging. It's very sturdy. I wish they would make the pop boxes more like this. You know, while keeping the same design, but with this sturdier kind of material. Yeah, she looks really good. As you can see, they use this nice thick bubble wrap, but it's not super tight. Looks like this one might have had some damage, though. Although... It looks at first like it had damage, but it looks like it just popped open, actually. And there really is no damage, actually. It just kind of popped open. See, that, that's a little bowed, but it's not creased. So that'll flatten out if I just lay it on its side, put something heavy there if I really want it to be perfect. But that is Gandalf when he's battling the Balrog, yelling out, You shall not pass. They really outdid themselves with these new Lord of the Rings pops. I kind of want them to go back and redo all the other previous ones because these are so much more detailed than the originals that they look kind of funny next to each other. Plus, some of those originals are expensive. And his face is supposed to be kind of dirty. But the way they dirtied up mine looks a little weird. Let me take it out of the package, take a closer look. Yeah, he's supposed to have kind of a generally dirty face. But mine kind of looks like it got a thumbprint on there and there. I think it's supposed to be dirtier all around. Which kind of sucks. I might go try to exchange this one for one with a better paint job of that dirt on the face. But overall, it's a pretty nice looking pop. And he does stand. And next up is a Nazgul, and the box is in great condition. Once again, Hot Topic seems to have come through. It did order a 6-inch pop. That's going to be the real test. 6-inch pops tend to get damaged fairly easily in the mail. But yeah, this guy looks pretty sweet as well. That sword looks cool. And from Death Note, I got Ryuk to go along with my L eating the cake. Not sure if I'm going to get Light yet because Light is definitely not one of my favorite characters of all time. He's a little bit of a punk. But this Ryuk looks really good. I love that they gave him the apple. And this honestly might be one of my favorite pops of the year so far. Super colorful, super detailed. Really, really captures the essence of that character. Really nice. Alright, and I can already see that this box popped open. So it might have shifted around a little violently in there. Hopefully it's not damaged the box. I 
but it doesn't look to be. But this is the Balrog from Lord of the Rings. I guess there's a little bit of bowing in here, but again, it's not dented, so I might try to flatten that out. Just, you know, just to have a perfect box. I know some people don't care about boxes, but I'm of the mind that if you got a collectible, it's best to keep them in perfect boxes if you can. And I also like that if I buy something, no matter what it is, it could be something where I'm even going to throw away the packaging. I still like to find a perfect box because if somebody's going to screw it up, I like it to be me, you know, because I don't know. I just, if I'm going to pay my money for something, I want it to be perfect. And in pops, you know, I tend to keep them in the box. So I am a stickler for that, even though I know a lot of you guys aren't. But yeah, this could easily be fixed by placing something heavy inside this box, laying it like this for a while, and it'll flatten out. But I'm definitely going to take this ball rock out of the box right now just to check him out because he looks pretty incredible. And look at this guy. Look at those massive wings. And he's basically got a flame mohawk going on. Man, that looks awesome. And the, even the whip is made out of this translucent material just like the flames. So it looks like a flaming whip. That big thick tail. This is a freaking awesome pop. And then the paint details on these horns to make them look like they're lit up from the inside are really awesome. And yeah, he does stand. So, I mean, if you're somebody that has a big massive bookshelf... You know, Lord of the Rings is one of those classic book series. This would look just awesome on your bookshelf. Two of the most iconic literary characters. And yeah, they're from the movie, but man, that would look awesome on a bookshelf. Yeah, really impressed by this Balrog. I heard that there's a glow-in-the-dark one coming. And I imagine that the glow-in-the-dark is going to be probably just the flames, the whip, maybe the eyes and the mouth. But, you know, I really don't care because the glow-in-the-darks, you really have to charge them up with a flashlight for them to work, really, unless you have a black light in your room. And since I'm not, like, in college anymore, I really don't have a black light in my room. So this one's good enough for me. And I do tend to think that the regular versions or common versions of these pops look better, like, in the light, which is when you're going to see them the most instead of the glow-in-the-dark ones. But yeah, really impressed by this Balrog. Alright guys, so as you can see, Hot Topic, if the boxes don't take some major, major damage, tend to come in pretty good. They don't put damaged pops into these boxes. So if your mailman isn't a complete savage, you'll tend to get pretty nice pops. Alright guys, thanks for watching and take it easy.